What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here, bringing us more black after the best class setups today. Our weapon is called the Vesper. Now, this Vesper weapon, I used to use it back in Black Ops 3 Beta, which came out in September or so uh, of, of this year. And um, a lot of things have changed about this weapon. It didn't used to have a lot of recoil like it has now. It did have some recoil back in the beta, but it was stable. It was a great weapon, and with some certain attachments that I had back in the beta, it was just tremendous. It was an instant killer. It was like a, maybe like a five bullet drop and the enemy will be dead because that's how fast this weapon is and also it does have the highest rapid fire which is pretty much you know you don't need to add the rapid fire to it to make it go faster or something like it is a great short weight short range weapon uh since the black ops 3 beta and right now it still is the problem is they added more recoil and they added um i believe no actually they reduced the damage by a little bit it's not by much i think they reduced it by like one bar like imaginary so um it's still it's still a great weapon but all you need is the stuff that i have right now in order for you to be successful with the vespers so this is kind of an update video and uh, because i already posted it like a long time ago i do have my my playlist for the best class setups you guys want to check it out so you guys can see the vesper the vmp and uh several other weapons that i'm gonna do down the road so uh the vesper let's get on with the update so the first attachment that I want to talk about will be the grip. Now this one is a hundred percent, you know, a necessity because if you do not have the foregrip on this thing, you will miss all your shots no matter what, and you won't be able to take out one enemy at a time per mag. So add the foregrip in order for you to actually aim towards the enemy. Now the thing is, it's still bipolar, even though you had the foregrip, but um, you know, it's up to you. If you do have quick aim, some kind of quick aiming, you know. You know normally like naturally without any attachments or perks you know you should be able to take out the enemy instantly and move on to the next one and make it like two kills back to back and so on so um but also it increases the chance to kill somebody from mid-range if you don't have this your mid-range attacks are pretty much away they're pretty much you're never going to use them so uh at the foreground in order for you to kill somebody from mid-range and also short range and also have a little bit more stableness when aiming towards an enemy now moving on to the next attachment which will be stock now this one will allow you to aim faster um actually when you're aiming and you're trying to move while aiming you're actually gonna move faster you know you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna feel like you're still sprinting out there so um if you do add the stack attachment also it will evade you from quick scoping so if you're getting killed by quick scoping right now add the stock attachment to your smgs it's gonna pretty much prevent you from dying against those those fuckers because they just tend to aim towards one direction and you know there's a way you can check them out i already talked about this back in black ops 2 and the stock attachment back in black ops 2 pretty much helped me out with the msmc and i pretty much owned every single quick soap out there back in the day so um, bringing it back into the vesper i'm pretty sure this is gonna this is gonna be um this is gonna make a lot of quick scopers mad so i'm pretty sure this will make you successful against them and also against close range combat because when you're aiming i'm telling you you can juke a little bit to the left and right this allows you like a uh, you know to prevent you from getting killed and because the enemy is aiming like very slowly towards one direction and you should be able to avoid it and surprise the enemy from a certain angle like it, it makes you flank a little bit faster so at the stock attachment it is, it is very important without it without it uh you're pretty much gonna be taken out because this weapon cannot aim from that far away, and if you add more maneuvers to it, you can be able to, um, you know, take out enemies by surprise. So add the stock attachment. The next attachment will be the extended mag. Now this one, the reason why you need it is because without the extended mag, because uh, without the without the extended mag, it will be like around 30 bullets on your mag. And the problem is, you can only take out two enemies max with one mag that's how fast this gun is if you don't aim correctly you're gonna waste all that ammo on one person so without the extended mags to the one most of the time or like barely two with the extended mag you should be able to take out like around three enemies at a time so um add the extended mag if you guys want to take out back-to-back -back enemies like crazy uh but only three at a time the, that's the max i've ever gotten unless you sneak up behind the enemy line and uh be be very careful you know while taking out enemies and be very accurate if you're very accurate with some weapons then um you're going to be doing it with the vesper along with the extended mag so uh these two are the attachments that i'm currently using right now and it's doing pretty good if you guys haven't seen some of the gameplay of the vesper you know i already posted one like a long time ago back in Ma and, and monday i believe and check it out Look at it, keep an eye on it, and uh, watch the gameplay, how I use the Vesper, and then you're going to learn how uh, you know I maneuvered around the enemy, like I, I flanked them, I juked them and shit. They're going to be missing all their bullets against me, so 
that's the way I use my Vesper. I'll probably put the link in the description so you guys can check out that video. So that is it, guys. That is the best class setup for the Vesper. And by the way, the perks, you can have whatever you want. And also in the lethal and tactical. But myself, you know, I prefer to use uh, the Thermite, Shock Charge, Ghost, Scavenger, and Blast Suppressor. And I know I'm going to get a lot of shit about this. But I don't give a damn. It's in the game. And I don't want to be detected because a lot of people have too many spy planes. So I'm going to keep on using Ghost. So that is it guys, if you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer and also more best class setups, subscribe for more because there's more coming up.